In this video, we're going to prepare to make the actual page content dynamic and managed through the Expression Engine control panel. To do this, we're going to set up what in the Expression Engine are called channels. Think of channels as similarly structured dynamic content. For example, every page so far on our site has a similar structure of content, meaning that it's just one big area that has some HTML in it. Right now, as it stands, our about page, if we wanted to go in and edit, we'd expect the person to be able to edit the title, the main content, the picture here, our services page, etc., this main content, um, the services listed below, and the portfolio, and this content. Um, and our contact page, we have a message here. So if we look for the similar grouped content, it would be on the welcome page, the title, the text, maybe this image here. This format of content does not appear on any other pages, so this would not be part of the related structured content of a page. It's mostly this content up here. On our about page, all of this is content that we would expect to be on pretty much any page um, and editable. The services, this top part here looks like it's similar to the other pages and that has a title and this description, although this format of having indented subsections is not something that we see on every page. Likewise, on the portfolio, we have our static page content or normal page content on top and then this other set of dynamic content below here. On the contact page, we don't really have any static content besides a title, and we more just have a form. So what we're going to do for our pages channel is we're going to set up a channel of content that gives you ability to edit a title and a main section of content. And this could either go on the top of every page or not go, and we'll look later at how to customize that. To add a channel of content in Expression Engine, go under Admin, Channel Administration, and Channels. We don't have any set up yet, so we're going to go ahead and create one called Pages. And next it asks you for the channel name, single word, no spaces. The full channel name, think of it as human readable. And the channel name, think of it as computer readable, and this is whenever you want to refer to a page in Expression Engine or all your pages, you'd say channel name pages lowercase in this format here. And what it would output if you ever need to get the name of a channel is this right here. We're not going to duplicate any preferences, but let's go ahead and edit or look at the group preferences that are available. This is something that's important in Expression Engine that every channel of data or every set of similarly structured content on your site has the ability to have its own set of categories, status groups, and field groups. Categories are exactly what you would think of and we don't have any categories um, for our pages here. Status groups, Expression Engine has a built-in default one called statuses that includes an open and a closed status. But if you're doing something with more uh, workflow, for example you want to add drafts or you want to have approved by an editor or different stages, then you can go ahead and customize those <clears throat> as well. Finally, oh, sorry, select statuses. If we don't select any statuses, then Expression Engine will never mark the content as open or published and will never um, s allow you to see it through the front end. Field groups are something that are um, a very, very powerful feature of Expression Engine, and it's basically the input fields or form fields that map to database tables. If that doesn't make sense, we're going to look at field groups in a second, so we'll just sort of skip over it for now, but Expression Engine Note has no field groups set up by default. Um, we're not going to create any new templates for this channel, so we'll just go ahead and click Submit and now we have a new channel. The next step we have to do whenever we set up a channel is we have to come in and create custom fields for that channel. So now we'll go in and we'll create custom fields for our page group. We're going to name this set of custom fields page fields group and it's a good idea to include the name of the channel that you're creating the fields for. 
And now we see that we have one field group created. It's our pages one. We could edit it, we could delete it, but let's go ahead and add custom fields to this. And our page field group is only going to actually have one custom field. And this custom field, notice that we could select, is going to be a text area field. Look at some of all these other options. We could have custom content that's checkboxes, date puts, if you want to upload files, multiple selects, relate them to other files, drop downs. And these field types in Expression Engine have their own API and are easily extendable. So a lot of the plugins that you find for Expression Engine are actually expanding this field type API. Um, Wigwam, a very popular WYSIWYG, for example, plugs right into here and you could select uh, that as one of your options. We're going to go ahead and name this field page content and this is the name that will appear when you're adding and editing the content and then we have a field name which is how we refer to it in our template and we're going to go ahead and call it page content. Now there's no given name or a standard for how you name these field names but a good idea in the same way that you uh, preface a snippet by saying snippet and then the name of the snippet. Anytime you have a custom field, it's a good idea to put the name of the channel that it's a custom field for. So if you say, get me a page and then display the content for that page, um, you can call it page content. Next we're going to go ahead and put some instructions that appear on the published page. And we're just going to tell the user to go ahead and enter in the content for the page. We're also going to put a note in bold here that says including the title. And this will make more sense in a minute, but I wanted to show that you can, in your field instructions, include HTML. So even if you wanted to put multi-paragraphs of text and some really rich instructions for the users to use, um, you could do that in Expression Engine for each field that you create. Now, this is going to be required. Every page must have content on it. And although we're not going to have a search engine, we could check it to be searchable. Um, there are going to be some fields that just have very small or meta pieces of content that you don't want to be searchable. Um, that can speed up your site a bit. Um, we're going to show this by default. The display will be the first one. Let's go ahead and add some more rows so that we have a bit more height to type in. And we'll look here at text formatting. Expression Engine is touted as one of the most um, standards compliant in terms of marking up your code and what I mean by marking up is not marking up or when it does and doing it in a very clean way. So the the default options that we have in Expression Engine and these can be customized um, or built out is to have no field formatting meaning that if we put a bunch of paragraphs without markup into that text area field that we create um, they will show up on the page without any markup appearing um, all together as one box of text. You could add auto break tags, so that would um, add them, uh, add break tags until the next paragraph, or um, the standard option which is XHTML, so this will automatically add paragraph tags for you um, and other tags, but you could still customize it and write your own HTML as well. So let's go ahead and just accept this uh, XHTML default here. Um, this override allows you the option of if you want to just hard code straight HTML on the front end you could say none and then write all of your own. Um, we don't really need to override this at this point. We'll show our formatting buttons. We're going to leave Smiley's glossary and spell check off, but let's turn on this write mode and file chooser. Click submit. So now we have our pages field group and we have our pages channel but we have to go back to our pages channel and add our field group to it. So this is um, possibly a confusing process at first and um, what we've just reviewed of channels and these custom fields are two of the biggest features and something that's very important in Expression Engine and you'll work a lot with probably more so custom fields and channels. But let's just go through real quickly again exactly what we did. 
First, under admin, we added a new channel of content, and we created a channel called Pages. Originally, when we set up that Pages, it had no categories, and we selected the default status, but there are no content groups or um, field groups created by default in Expression Engine. This is one of the things that makes it so flexible. So we had to go in to Custom Fields and create a custom field group for the Pages, and this one just has one section, but um, later we'll look at adding other pieces of custom content or custom fields. So at this point, we have our custom fields set up, and what we will do in the coming video is we will look at how to actually add in the content and then update our templates to make this truly dynamic. Now before we end here, we have to look at one final thing, and this is something that's kind of a, a quirky little thing in Expression Engine that you never really um, know until you come across and then have to go sort of look up why it does this. But if you come into Global Preferences under Channel Administration, there's a setting that we want to change right here. And what it does is when you create URLs in Expression Engine, which you can completely customize for SEO reasons on your own, it automatically creates them using underscores. You could override this, but since most people, um, and in this case we'll use dashes for our page names, um, we're just going to change our URL titles to have dash. So that one little change there, we didn't need to do it, the site will still work, it'll just use underscores for pages. Uh, but now that we have that done, it'll be uh, dashes, which is a bit, a bit more standard. So in the next video, we'll come back and look at how to add our actual pages through the Expression Engine control panel.